Hey guys, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Okay, so um, what can we talk to you? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay. Hey, ma'am, can we talk? Sorry. Let's talk when you're free. Sorry, I. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. Mm -hmm. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Mm -hmm. Max, his name is. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. That's good thinking. Where are we headed? That's on account of how I never met her. I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Wow. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. What kind of mother is that? Okay, I know many women just choose to be more on the career side, but Hey, for me, it's just if you choose to be a mom, you should not leave your kid alone. Can we loot something? I'm gonna loot everything that is not guarded by any means. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. Hmm. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Is this a church of some kind? Hopefully nothing like Scientology or something else. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest <laughs> way out of town. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. <laughs> That's actually a good way to have a good heart. Even it's soft. So what do you advise? What do you think? Mm -hmm. 
They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Hmm. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Oh yeah? I'm, am I gonna be robbed or something? I have a gun, man. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the Collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mm -hmm. mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Hopefully he will pay me in some ways. Because we are currently lacking money to buy anything. Hello. Got my sights on you. Okay, don't be aggressive lady. It's nothing. <sighs> oh, uh, we are at the wrong end of the town, I see. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, I know. Can't do that. Hello. Hello. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see. The war, the coming apocalypse, man mm -hmm. versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. You mean like the Terminator? Just my luck. I asked for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the mm -hmm. swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or stand? I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. So tuna cans, mostly, some spacer's chaw, a few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Sure. Give In me the Memphis. money. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. 
Cross mm -hmm. it off, then report back. Mechanical repellent. A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. Here, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. Go on. I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Wow. Just on. one guy, eh? You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you. Scanning you with its murderous oculars. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. I'm not sure about this. Is this the kind of Easter egg the devs made for the Terminator franchise? Oh my god, Parvati, I just scared to death because I thought this guy is coming back. What do you think you're doing? Just don't make any trouble for me, okay? Yeah, sure. Now go off. I want to loot more things. This one is much, much better. Can I break down? Okay, uh, let's see. Hundred ten, hundred two. Gonna break down something. can have some better skills uh, so maybe more wrenched points and also add some melee points and then more stealth more tech that should do it okay a dialogue combat skill when attacking the correct types of target they are automatically debilitated hmm interesting okay Journal. Uh, main quest: Peril Gordon. Ah, that's uh, that's one of the um, DSCs, I believe. Deal with the mechanical scout. 
fistful of digits. Uh, yeah. Search for Totem Collector. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna do this uh, side by side. First, I would just go for uh, maybe Die Robot. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Is this a bandit camp? Oh no, it's just some... I don't know what that stuff is. Maybe some plates for building? Oh, there's lava zone. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Sure, go ahead. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Uh, I don't reckon Jeremy understands the concept of trade. Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message. Um, thanks, but money was definitely better. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. Hmm, something to loot here? Why are you making this sound? So many foods! But in RPGs, I actually never really eat one of those stuff. Uh, I would rather take steam charts. Hmm. Oh, what's over there? Hmm, uh, looks like a scrapyard. Interesting. We're going back to Miller later. We're gonna do the power mission first. Looks like a trap, to be honest. I'm gonna. Rather... Oh shit! Fuck! Oh! Seriously, Pavati, I was... I was about to sneak to them and... You just killed this poor dude. Oh, how the heck do I heal myself? my 
aim sucks. Imagine, where the heck are you? You started all this. Oh, come on. Whew. Damn! Next time, wait for me to shoot first. God damn it. I just got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the Edgewater Cannery effectively. Effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at a community center selling rare memorial. Billia? But scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want to lose books moldering in some contraband locker. So I stash them all away in a cave over the over by the river. Okay. Can we take it with us? No. Can open this. Mm. What are those boys? That sounds really, really, really bad. Mm. It's a laser gun or plasma gun, I don't know. Yes, Pavati, kill them all, kill them all. Nice one. Do your best to protect your master. Do it, Pavati. What was that? Was that a mine? Uh, 
Oh, Parvati, I think you need a better gun. I'm gonna give you some better guns after this fight is over. And now you're dead. Okay, Parvati, give you some better guns. Hundred ten, hundred ten, hundred ten, hundred twenty. I'm gonna give you an assault rifle. Hey, we should be able to equip armor. I mean, our suit is pretty fine, but I think we can equip better gear sets. Um, helmet. And also poverty. Can I give you armor set seven? Oh, you're pretty good. You're really good equipped, actually. Uh, yeah, let's let's get in here. them all off like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list teach me your ways only thing unscrewed around here is the head of that marauder you took down never seen moves like that outside my serial dramas mm -hmm. you on the other hand you were a sight to behold if I had half your skills I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen not sure if that's a good career choice young lady I'm great at clarifying. Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The Marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Uh-huh. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave you, but don't be in trouble. Oh, wait. Are you now family-less? Since I killed all your friends?
Mm. Oh, there's a mine. I'm gonna get rid of this one before I hurt myself. What is going on with your hat? a hat okay moving out look out God Babati, you really... You are so useless. Okay, I'm gonna pick everything up. What was that again? That really, really sounds unhealthy. There we go, the art, the outlaws. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Oh yeah? But I'm pretty sure you're gonna need me. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. A Geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. Enough See? of the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Well, look at you, buzzing around the Aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. Thank the Eternal. Wait, Marauder Camp? Is she all right? Queen of the Marauders, huh? That's what comes of watching serials. Rots your gray. If you could bring her home, I'd be obliged. And if you could cross off some Marauders on the way, I'd be much obliged. Okay. I'll tell you what I can. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. 
She was lazy and thoughtless. Mm -hmm. But she's still one of our own. What is it? Over in the hothouse. Tending crop. Okay. Whew. So... If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. I knew I ha would have to go to Zoe again. Oh, do we really have nothing in here? So is drawn on. Mm. So that's it then. No more at water for me. No more canary. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams. And would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake. Because I've always hated the canary and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh wow, I did hate the veil once, didn't I? Just because I got sick, everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much adrenal time. Is that really a crime? I gotta uh, treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriate one box of adrena, adrena time, and suddenly you're committing lassancy. Or lassancy? Lassancy? Oh god. Good news, I'm alive. Starting to feel a little better too. There's a group of deserters living out in the old botanic labs. They found a way to grow some food. Or something that passes for food anyway. Adelaide boiled a pot of something green and leafy and told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms. I suppose. Tastes atrocious. But I've been feeling better. It's nice to be away from the cannery. The labs have just enough power to run an eater wave. So I've been catching up on my serial dramas. Masked Musketeer, what would I do without you? Go crazy most likely, crack up murder all my neighbors and run screaming into the hills like some white marauder. I don't know. That doesn't sound too bad. I could see myself leading a cadre of mar marauders. A band of bandits. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Band of bandits? What we, uh, would we call ourselves? The formidable 14? The 100 hooligans? Featuring Zoe, bandit queen? Oh. There's some... Great movie references here. Well, today is the day, Zoe. Today is the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills warming themselves by the light of barrel fires. Probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spike as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease free of any rules, I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been fucking away some of Adelaide's food. 
So I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food and I've got some spare cans of the tuna. Should last me a couple of weeks if I ration. Got some adrenaline time too. Everybody loves adrenaline time. Even marauders, right? I got odds those marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple syringes of adrenaline time before their eyes. This is gonna be great, look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm gonna have a whole gang of marauders at my back and core. Maybe I can even score some rezos. Mm. Sounds like the girl watched too much drama. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been a home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go. And nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is care. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living on... He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I'm all right. I ain't so fragile. Mm -hmm. That was unkind of me. I'm sorry, dear. It's not much of a living. Every single person in that town has sold themselves to Spacer's Choice. The company owns them. Body, blood, and bones. You've been there. You've seen it. All anyone ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some heartless corporation, and then they're tossed into a Spacer's Choice brand cemetery. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. Hmm. You bring power to Reed's town, and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. But if I bring power to you, I would kill the town too, so... The blade is two-sided. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Uh... 
Her eyes are glowing. Invest some more in ranged guns. A little bit of defense, more pursuit, more persuasion. Tech stuff is very important. Apply. Sometimes you are only a person you can trust, so that's okay. You deal increased damage when adventuring alone. Yeah. Travel you come more trans uh, very efficient transporting goods. Let's do that. Okay, back here. Okay, let's go. someone oh that's he used to follow me around before he left the cannery oh so he's into you why didn't you say that just straight forward keep your wits about see you there I was uh well I was just occupying myself with a little engineering whoa miss Parvati hey you're uh what um how, how are you hi hi uh, hello are you uh uh are things safe out here how are you keeping great just great I've been trying to keep stuff running just like you only I'm not so wait they didn't kick you out did they Oh, gosh, no. I'm just along with this lady here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact mm -hmm. is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. 
If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Mm-hmm. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I'll pay you for every pad you bring me. If, by some miracle, you can bring me the full set, I'll give you something pretty I've been saving for a lucky day. I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Mm-hmm. I appreciate you hearing me out, at least. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna read the journal if I can find it and hopefully... Oh, what the hell? I can learn something from it. What? Oh, this is a... Oh. Ooh. Any luck finding one of those men? No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. One data pad's enough to guide me down my newfound path. Just remember... I got something saved for you if you find me all three. Okay. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. What's on your mind? A couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. Mm hmm I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. Yeah, you probably would. We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. Wow, light machine gun. Mm, Let's go. Oh, they're mines. Oh, shit. Oh, ouch. Can 
past this. We can't jump over this uh, rocks. Hmm. There's a cave, and there's a marauder. Now everyone is alerted. That's the last of them. Mm. Let's get things done. There's the thermal plant. We can just jump over. System beginning security patrol. Here they come. And also, I should save the game just to be sure. Some security fans, your recent locks. Okay. Is there something to loot here? Oh. Sure, what are you talking about? I think it's pretty working fine. There's nothing to loot anymore. Let's go inside. Gonna sell junk first and then all the stuff I don't really use. No, no, no. Natural has regeneration that could be useful. Incompetent. 
the control room should be. Yeah, I'm gonna eat something first. Uh, hello? Hmm. Off to the right. I hope we're doing my thing. Wow, 200% isn't that fast, as I thought it would be. Okay, let's go down. System of sweeping the air. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay. Should have known it's not that easy. Can't open it. And we surely can't open this door. one of the switches here okay. Quiet. yeah but yeah I know but don't say it okay it it, it comes a little bit weird Just a usual bathroom. Self diagnostics complete. Navigation systems operational. And not a Jeremy. Operational. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. Hostile actions towards spacer's choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion, all hostile auto mechanicals must be 
defective in compliance with Spacer's choice policy. All defective auto mechanicals must be permanently dismantled. Please allow me to assist. Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. Hmm. I don't think we are at the right place. Shit, we can't pass this one. Ah. Go away, Phantom. Did someone say something? No, 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 just leave me alone. There's someone still alive. Steam, you're liable to get scalded. System, watch out. Use while I'm not in combat. Oh, there's still someone else. Miss McDevitt, what happens to the rail? Something you need? He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. No, Parvati. This guy is totally into you. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean... When Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd you mean about the mission being too clean? I know, but Vicker says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicker sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf under glass. It just comes off cold to me, is all. Mm hmm. Okay, but before we progress any further. I have to say, thanks for watching, see you next time.